हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज द इंडियन मॉनसून फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द मैकेनिज्म द ऑनसेट एंड प्रोग्रेशन द रिट्रीटिंग मॉनसून रोल इन एग्रीकल्चर वेरिएबिलिटी एंड क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड लास्टली फ्लड्स एंड ड्रॉट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Monsoon is a familiar though a little known climatic phenomenon despite the observations spread over centuries the monsoon continues to puzzle the scientist many attempts have been made to discover the exact nature and causation of the monsoon but so far no single theory has been able to explain the monsoon fully a real breakthrough has come recently when it was studied at the global rather than at regional level every year this spectacular event unfolds bringing life giving rains to the parched lands and shaping the destiny of millions now understanding the mechanism of the monsoon the indian monsoon is primarily a result of the seasonal shift in wind patterns as the sun beats down on the indian subcontinent the land mass heats up creating a low pressure area Cooler air from the Indian Ocean rushes in to fill this void laden with moisture. This warm, moisture-rich air ascends, cools and condenses resulting in rainfall. The monsoon is a delicate dance between temperate gradients, wind patterns and humidity. Now moving on to its onset and progression. The monsoon doesn't arrive like clockwork. its onset is eagerly anticipated and closely monitored by early june the low pressure condition over the northern plains intensifies it attracts the trade winds of the southern hemisphere they cross the equator and blow in a southwesterly direction entering the indian peninsula as the southwest monsoon as these winds blow over warm oceans they bring abundant moisture to the subcontinent The inflow of the southwest monsoon into India brings about a total change in the weather. Early in the season the windward side of the western ghats receives very heavy rainfall more than 250 cm. The Deccan plateau and parts of Madhya Pradesh also receive some amount of rain in spite of lying in the rain shadow area. The maximum rainfall of this season is received in the northeastern part of the country. Western Ram in the southern ranges of the Khasi Hills receives the highest average rainfall in the world. Rainfall in the Ganga Valley decreases from the east to the west. Rajasthan and parts of Gujarat get scanty rainfall. Now let's discuss about the retreating monsoon. During October November with the apparent movement of the sun towards the south, the monsoon throw and the low pressure throw over the northern plains becomes weaker. This is gradually replaced by a high pressure system. The southwest monsoon winds weaken and start withdrawing gradually. By the beginning of October the monsoon withdraws from the northern plains. The months of October November form a period of transition from the hot rainy season to dry winter conditions. The retreat of the monsoon is marked by clear skies and rise in temperature. While day temperatures are high, nights are cool and pleasant. The land is still moist. This retreating monsoon brings rain to the southern peninsula. Now moving on to its role in agriculture. It usually makes landfall on the southwestern coast of India in June and from there it gradually advances northwards. The arrival of the monsoon is celebrated across the country as it marks the beginning of the planting season. The significance of the Indian monsoon in agriculture cannot be overstated. Around 70% of India's annual rainfall occurs during this season, providing the lifeblood for crops. Farmers plan their planting and harvesting schedules around the monsoon, and the success of their crops hinges on timely and adequate rainfall. A good monsoon season can lead to bumper harvest, while a poor one can spell disaster. Now let's have a look at its variability and climate change. The Indian monsoon exhibits significant variations from one year to the next. Some years witness abundant rainfall resulting in floods while others suffer from deficient monsoons leading to droughts. These fluctuations can impact agriculture, water resources and the economy. 
oceanic phenomena like El Nino and La Nina in the Pacific Ocean can influence the Indian monsoon. El Nino is associated with reduced monsoon rainfall, while La Nina often leads to above average rainfall. The monsoon's impact is not uniform across the Indian subcontinent. Different regions experience varying levels of rainfall. During the monsoon season, there can be temporary breaks or interruptions in the rainfall pattern. Climate change also plays a role in the variability of the Indian monsoon. Altered weather patterns, rising temperatures and changing oceanic conditions can impact the monsoon's behavior, making it more unpredictable and contributing to extreme weather events. Now lastly, let's discuss about floods and droughts. While the monsoon is a source of much needed water, it can also bring destructive floods. Inadequate infrastructure, deforestation and urbanization contribute to the severity of flooding during the monsoon. Effective water management including the construction of dams, reservoirs and flood control measures is essential to minimize flood related damage and loss of life. Conversely, the Indian monsoon can also lead to droughts when it fails to deliver sufficient rainfall. Droughts have far-reaching consequences affecting agriculture, water supply and livelihoods. They can lead to water scarcity, food insecurity and increased competition for limited resources. And developing climate resilient water management strategies is crucial in mitigating the impacts of droughts. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims based question. Consider the following statements. 1. The duration of the monsoon decreases from southern India to northern India. 2. The amount of annual rainfall in the northern plains of India decreases from east to west. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. And now mains question. What characteristics can be assigned to monsoon climate that succeeds in feeding more than 50% of the world population residing in monsoon Asia? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.